Check this out. Michael Grimm, Congress, June 2018. Google that name, Michael Grimm. Right? This guy was a, a he's running for Congress. He served two years in jail for <laughs> he was in Congress. And then he got he got caught taking bribes and then extortion and all this other shit, right? And then uh, he got out of jail. And what does he do? He runs again. That's that's where we are in this. It's unbelievable. Like right? he's running for Congress in the uh, in the Brooklyn. This is Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Staten Island, right? But this is crazy that people would that that look. It's another sign, right? He's up. Michael Grimm. That guy was locked up and he's rerunning. Uh, Congress, politics, money, corruption. It's all one now, right? My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. Still sole plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. I want to do a recap on uh, DSNY. I don't want to think. I don't want people to think that I just you know, take that decision and swallow it and accept it. No, I do not. I like to think about things. I like to, you know, I, the, the result is, you know, borders on barbaric, where a case that is that has public ramification and public interest as DSNY, not even as DSNY, has and had for an appellate division to just write it off in one page as if it's just a disgruntled employee, right? That they just went along with the fake story. Oh, yeah, there's the write-ups. That's all we need, right? The, you know, Division of Human Rights. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fake fake write-ups. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just, it's just a total... It's just a total scam, and it, it's, it, it is... It's incredibly... The case is now even incredibly more revealing because all the evidence that I presented is in the, is now in the public record. All the videos that I created over the last two years, it's all in the public record. All the recordings of the supervisors at DSNY highlighting the, the, the modus operandi, which is ticket quota. It's based on a 10-ticket quota. And then using, you know, aggression and, and threats and threats of termination and false, falsifying records to keep that quota in place, right? The use of discrimination to, you know, psychologically keep people happy by keeping all the same color people in the same room, you know, pick the, pick the most radically sensitive people, that sort of thing is also going on, right? You know, and it's all now in the public record. It's all, it's all, it's all there. And then at the very end of that record is the Supreme Court, the High Court of New York's decision that none of it matters. That none of it had anything whatsoever to do with, with anything. Right? That the fact that Mr. Conti never had a day in court, that everything was ruled in summary judgment, is all perfectly legal, is all perfectly correct. Okay. I, I imagine there's three judges, those three judges that ruled, right? Their names are down, their names are, if you pop the, the link open and read the decision, their names appear at the top. We should do some research and find out who these, who these three judges are and who, how they're who was how they were appointed and who they were who they are in fact connected to, and also the judge in the other case, uh, you know, the original New York State Supreme Court, the, the Supreme Court version of the case that was uh, that, that got uh, thrown out. I bet they're all connected, you know, as as, as Judy Judy Cobb said, yeah, this is Clintonian world. This is. This is Schumer, Gillibrand, you know, senators. This is the corrupt politicians that I'm in the very borough of, you know, corrupt politicians that 
purge 200,000 voters off the rolls to dis- disparage, to steal the election, steal, let's call it what it is. They stole the election from Bernie Sanders, right? So this is, this is home base. This is home base. Como. Schumer. Well, I wonder where the wiener is. Wiener. Mr. Wiener. Mr. Wiener is probably sit, still sitting in jail. So, you know, the decision now is do we appeal to New York, the the uh, New York Court of Appeals, which is uh, actually one higher. Do we keep playing this charade of paper shuffling? Right? It's just... It's the truth is in the record. Any jury in America, any jury, any thinking, critically thinking, logical person doesn't have to sit on the jury. All they have to do is is review the evidence in the record, review the recordings, review the the evidence to suggest that yes, retaliation did occur because of illegal activity within the Department of Sanitation. That this individual did in fact reveal those facts, not only to the agencies, but to the public. And for that, he was fired. For that, he was he was targeted, attacked, and terminated. Right? It's, it's indisputable, right? It's indisputable, but you can't, you can't even get the courts to acknowledge any of those facts on the record. Right? Because the case file is not really retrievable at appellate division, at the at the appeals level. The only way you could see it is I put it up, right? So if I didn't do that, even that would have been stuffed beneath the record, right? It wouldn't have been allowed to be heard, right? It's it's a, it's a deeply deeply corrupt process that is now not only not attainable to people who actually know the rules, which I, I, for all due purposes, I'm, I actually do know, I do know the process now, right? I'm arguably an expert on, on, on you know, on discrimination law and suing people, right? I'm a, you know, I want to show you where I am right now. Beautiful spot, Barzano Bridge. Right. But it's not only it's now not only not attainable to people who actually know what they're doing. I mean Jared Beck, the the DNC fraud lawsuit lawyer. I mean he's 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 he, you should catch check him out too is on Facebook. He's having the same clarity I'm having that the whole system is a wash. And I'm gonna bring it back again because Coming out the other side of this case, I'm not discouraged whatsoever. Really, I think it. I think it proved the case that I was really trying to prove, which is that the corruption is ultra thick, and ultra unpenetrable, and that the oligarchy is firmly in place, and and has a, a firm. You know, has taken control of the, the courts, has taken control of the media. Uh, it's taking control, con- controls the politicians, right? I think that was the point I was trying to prove, right? And it's, you know, to the people at DSNY, if you think that, if you think that for a minute that you guys won, right? The, the, the agency, you know, Catherine Garcia, the commissioner and, and all the king's horses and all the king's men if you think that knocking Humpty Dumpty off the wall like that if you think that this is a victory, if you're calling this a victory, and you are some sick, sick, sick twisted fucking people uh, t- sicker than I, sicker, if you guys pop the cork this Easter Sunday and say look we won look we've vindicated our name we've cleared our name Mr. Conti's a uh, look, a disgruntled employee, that's all he ever was. That's all he ever said he was. See, the courts upheld the fact that we said he was just a disgruntled employee. And if you believe all that stuff, if the victory is more important than the truth, then so be it. Because as I've always said, right, they came after me. 
and they're gonna come after you, right? You're not immune to it. They're a slave. They're a fucking slave, right? They own you. They don't own me. Look, I'm a free man. I'm a free person. Free, free thinking, clear, happy. So you know, to the to the to the greater audience, we the the, the push is forward, right? I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. This is this is what I this is how I see it. That it is in fact what is in fact necessary is is a overthrowing of the current system to 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 come together systematically and oust the oligarchy, and then where the, then you figure out where the peace. Where the pieces fall, then you can figure out unionization and banking structures and such. Right? People are not. You see, the thing the thing about oligarchy is that the promotion is to convince people that people cannot be trusted. That people will be violent against each other. That they need to be protected from each other, right? That's what the whole false flag is. With the false flags are with the guns and down in Florida and such. Right? It's to convince people that they can't trust each other, right? So you need us to, to, to you know. <laughs> no, you need to get rid of them, right? So that that all that wealth actually hits the real economy and that people can prosper again and and and. Um, you know, the arts, you know, there's so many, there's so much music and so much to say in the arts and so much to say in literature, but it gets stuffed because the oligarchy's got you on TV, you watch fucking fake, fake television and, you know, and fake singing contests, Star Search and all that shit. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke, man. It's a joke. No resources are put into... The exploring of the arts, the giving giving voices platforms. Like, you know, 60s were explosive in the sense that the prosperity that came from the the New Deal was realized by the time the 50s rolled around. It's almost 15 to 20 years later, FDR's New Deal took full full effect. And the the, the 60s hippies enjoyed enjoyed that. They enjoyed that prosperity. And this generation no longer has has that. No leisure time, no savings, no prospect for you know, for property ownership. Instead it's just debt and and, and eighty hour weeks, right? right? That's what you guys can look forward to, the new new the new millennial. Just kick back. Don't worry about it. They got it under the control. Uh, you're, you're in good hands, you know. The oligarchy's got you covered, right? Or you could take the student loans and throw them in the fucking garbage. You could refuse to join the military. And if you're, if you're in the military, walk away, right? If you own property, take the mortgage, throw it in the garbage. If you own credit card debt, take it and throw it in the fucking garbage, right? Don't pay, right? Take back your democracy. Take back, get the oligarch's hand out your fucking pocket. That's the solution, right? What is the actual... I'm confirmed that that's the way to go, right? Now, how do, how do we actually... How could we... How, how is it that we could organize to actually make that happen? How do the American people come together... And not be fearful of taking their credit card debt and their mortgages and throwing them in the garbage. That someone's not going to come and destroy their credit ratings and make them unable to buy anything. Or somebody's going to knock on the door and say, uh, get out of your house, right? Who's going to who's gonna make people comfortable? How do we make people comfortable that that's not the outcome? The outcome is victory. Where the ol- oligarchy collapses... And then the politicians either roll over and represent the people, or they're you know historically they're either you know hung in the <laughs> hung in the main square. But this is you know the, the Democrats are totally for sale, right? 
They already got so much money they can't spend it. They already stole so much money. Let them have their lives. If we, if, if all we do is spend time trying to prosecute these scumbags, right? Hillary Clinton, lock her up. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's, it's, it, they are the criminals and they are in charge all the way from the top to the bottom. Trump's not going to do anything. Trump, these, that's not the way to go. The, the way to go is the people come together and bring them to their knees. Sanders is right. That's, it's when millions of people come together. But you, you can't, you can't, you can't back out at the, at the most beautiful part, the, the climax. You have to fight to the bitter end. You have to fight to the bitter end. Come together. Let the oligarchy fall. And then enjoy the victory. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist. I don't know if that's the right term anymore, but I'm a YouTube stream of thought blogger. Really, that's what, that's what it's coming down to. Share my videos. Make a donation. Thank you.